Hello there, I'm your host the Sith C, and today I am talking about Cobra Kai. Yes, uh, this is a show I've really wanted to talk about on this channel, and I think now's a good time now I've got into a pace of things, and I uh, this this channel, it's not just about Star Wars, it's not at all, it's about all entertainment that I enjoy, and anything to do with it. Uh, that includes gaming, that includes TV, that includes movies. It just so happens that I really love Star Wars and I really love Star Wars games. So please don't get that mixed up. I love all sorts. So, and one of those things is Karate Kid. And a few years ago, I think it was two years ago, that you know, Cobra Kai was announced and I was really really excited but it was on YouTube premium and I don't know about you but I didn't really feel like buying YouTube premium when so many other streaming services had much better content and to pay for one show I, I don't know it didn't feel worth it to me even though I was really excited so I held it off but then it was uh, the rights were purchased by Netflix, and so my brother and I, we began watching it, and we thought it was going to be good, but it completely exceeded our expectations. This show was absolutely incredible. One thing I loved about the show... Okay, wait, actually, from now on, there are going to be spoilers for the show for both Season 1 and Season 2. So, please, stop here, pause it, if you haven't watched it already and come back afterwards, okay? So you can better enjoy this video, I think that's really important. I really want you to enjoy this show as well as this video. Okay, three, two, one, spoilers. Okay, so this show, it really focuses on Johnny Lawrence, and Johnny Lawrence was the main antagonist, if you like, for the first Karate Kid film. He was portrayed as a bully to Daniel LaRusso, he was portrayed as a bit of a jerk, but in this show, I believe, what, something like 30 years later, 30, I think it's 30 years later, uh, I, uh, 30 or 40 years later, I don't, I, I don't remember when it was released, the film, this... This character, we're, we're introduced to him this time later, and he is sympathetic. You, you sympathise with him. He is, I'd say that he's the main character, or certainly with another character of this show, and it completely changes your perspective on the Karate Kid, the first movie. You you understand why. Johnny was how he was. You sympathise with him, with him, and you cheer for him, and you feel sorry for him, and you're on this journey with him where he's growing as a person very late, and you realise why that is, and what's caused that, and I think that to do that was a brave choice, and it it's really interesting. I think a lot of people really enjoyed that move that was made, that creative decision. You know? So that's fantastic to me. Uh, another key character to mention, well, my favourite character of the show is Miguel. And Miguel becomes Lawrence's... Uh, student in karate he learns to defend himself and you see his character growth and uh, he joins Cobra Kai uh, when Johnny Lawrence founds it again he reinstates it if you like and we go through a journey where Daniel LaRusso actually comes across as unreasonable and the bad guy which is really interesting. You're not rooting for him. In fact, you're annoyed by him. 
at, at some points, and you're ro- really rooting for Johnny. Uh, so that's something that is very, very uh, difficult to do. You, you know, your main protagonist from the first film, and now he's behaving like an antagonist. It's really interesting to uh, reverse those roles. Uh, but Miguel, you know, uh, it it's rather um, touching to see how Johnny is with Miguel. He he becomes a father figure in where he failed with his own son, and we see that as we go along as well. But it's it's like a redemption arc for Johnny, and when Miguel wins by uh, it. Not playing too cleanly, it you can see it truly upsets Johnny, um, which is difficult for and oh it, it, this this show's fantastic. Um, Johnny wants Miguel to be better than he is, but Miguel's also a, a good person at heart. He um you know he 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 has good intentions and sadly. Uh, later in the first se- season, that he uh, he doesn't behave as he quite should. Uh, there are there are other fantastic characters to mention. I oh, th- this show's fantastic. Go and watch it, please, please go and watch it. Robbie's a great character too. I I don't know though. I I don't feel like I root for him. I, I I root for Miguel, but maybe it's just a bias. I don't know, but I don't feel like I root for for Robbie, which is it, it, it's odd. Uh, he's a great character. I just don't root for him like I do for Miguel. Uh, Samantha Larusso. She, she I I don't know about her either. Like I, I was really excited at the end of season one, where she was she was finally going to. You know, get back into karate. She was going to do some cool stuff. That was awesome, and I really like her with Miguel. Um, like she's, she's good. She she she's a good character, but it's also quite interesting how it points out that she doesn't always make the right decisions from the very start of season one. She's making uh, decisions that maybe you wouldn't. Uh, I also I think it's fantastic. Can I say that Larusso is. Running a car dealership, that's just fantastic. Uh, I, I, I presume that's to do with how Mr. Miyagi taught, taught him how to, um, how to how to get cars, you know, looking spick and span again. So I, I think that's, that's brilliant. Um, in season two, there was a really touching episode where you have uh, all of the original group that Johnny was with in Cobra uh, in in John Kreese's dojo they they're, they're all reunited when they're old and one of them passes on and that uh, was a really touching episode uh John Kreese coming back wow that was cool that was really cool I like that and you can like to me it was obvious that he was always going to take over the dojo but I really like that Johnny, even though he lost it, even though he lost the dojo at the end of season two, it still shows that Johnny's trying a different way. He's trying to improve. Showing mercy to someone like John Kreese. That, it, it's such a shame that Danny and, you know, I mean, da- Daniel and Johnny can't work out their differences and join forces because they'd be fantastic together I think they'd make a great dojo uh, what else what else what else interesting reveal at the end of season 2 Ali Mills talking about season 2 oh my goodness that ending was incredible if you haven't already there was an insane if, if you haven't seen it already there's an incredible and you're not interested in watching, well, you need to be watching it right now. For the rest of you, wow. That college, 
that 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 high school fight scene was incredible. Also, so cool, Stingray. This uh, the 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 dude who joins Cobra Kai in season two, the dojo, and he's got all of um. He he <laughs> he hangs out with all the kids, and he's like this grown man, but he's he's like he's fully into karate, and he's so, oh nah, but he just takes out all those kids. That's amazing. That's so funny. Uh, I really like. Oh, oh gosh, that that, that fight, the whole fight scene's amazing. I uh, I think that it was a, a great decision as well to add uh, another conflicting character to it, 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 another character who creates conflict uh, in Tori uh, played by Peyton List so I think that was a great decision and now I, oh, I, I, I the, the thing is I'm sure Miguel will be fine from his uh, his injury I'm sure he'll be fine I, I'd be really surprised if he wasn't but I, I'm wondering whether he's going to be angry at Johnny for his advice like the others in Cobra Kai were, or whether he's... Uh, I'm so curious what's going to happen to Johnny. He threw away his keys, he threw away his phone, and then and then there's a, a friend a friend request from Ali from the original Karate Kid. So seeing her back is going to be very interesting in Season 3, and I cannot wait for January. That is going to be an incredible, exciting time. And at least we have Cobra Kai to keep us entertained during this troubling time. So, yeah, the, the, there's a lot to say. But I just wanted to, you know, say what well, I like Cobra Kai so much. You know, the, the, point out the great things. If you, if you want more about it, I mean, I could make more Cobra Kai videos. But, you know, I don't know. I, I just wanted to talk about something different on the channel. Uh suggest what you should be watching perhaps and I hope you enjoy the video so thank you very much for watching may the force be with you